Hey learners, Jared here, and I want to talk to you about rotating bodies. So here I borrowed one of my son's toys, and I'm going to apply a force at a distance from this toy's axis of rotation. Now, axis of rotation is a point about the rest of the mass moves. So whenever I apply a force down, the wheel spins. Now how this wheel spins depends upon a couple of things. One, how is the mass distributed about this axis of rotation, or this wheel's moment of inertia. The more or larger the moment of inertia is of an object, the more difficult it is to get spinning. Now, it also depends upon how much force I apply and the direction of that force. For instance, if I apply a lot of a force radially down, perpendicular to my radius, well, I get a lot of spinning. But if I apply a lot of force right into that axis of rotation, well, I get no spinning. And this is because torque is the cross product of your radius and your force that you're applying. Now, torque is also equal to the moment of inertia times your angular acceleration. So the larger the torque, the larger the angular acceleration. It's analogous to the sum of your forces equals mass times acceleration, where mass is equivalent to this object's moment of inertia. The more mass an object has, the more force it takes to get that object to accelerate. Here, the more moment of inertia an object has, the more torque it takes to get that object to spin. Now, different objects have different moment of inertia. It all really depends upon how that mass is distributed or how it's concentrated from the object's axis of rotation. The more mass that is concentrated farther away from an object's axis of rotation, the more torque it is going to take to get that object to spin. So here's my question. I have this disc attached by a string, as you can see here by this white bar, up to this plank of wood above it. Now, the string is going to be perpendicular to the ground. In other words, the string is going to be attached straight up and down. I want to know how the disc is going to translate whenever I release it from rest. So what I want you to do is choose by clicking either the tabs or the links down below in the description, is this disc going to swing to the left, is it going to swing to the right, or is it going to fall straight down? Good luck.